Next, we're doing Monkey Wrench by Foo Fighters in this one. Tone-wise, just one pedal, the 1991. I go to Overdrive. This one, um, I just stamped on it and it was there, so... So you want enough gain. It's quite meaty as well. And you want some chug. Like that. So that's what I've gone for there. And tuning is drop D. So your low E string goes down to D. So the first riff, I mean, it starts with a, a little slide. I think it's on the 15th fret. Uh, on the fourth beat. So one, two, three. And then you're in, okay? A guitar one's playing this. Plays that twice, exactly like that. So we start with the B power chord. And then we've got these one fingered power chords. So slowly, two, three. That at the end is just zero, two, zero, two, zero. Like that, okay? Pretty straightforward though. And then we've got Dave playing this. plays that round twice. So what we're doing there is playing some notes on the G string, but with also the B string open, okay? You could do the G, uh, the E as well if you wanted. Yeah, you could get all three in if you like, up to you. Um, and it's just quite a strummy sort of thing, really, so. So. That's the first time, and fingering wise and then I play the ninth fret with my third finger like that all eighth notes six four one four now and then That's a half step bend and release there. And then round again. And then there's a bar of 3 4 where you don't play anything. And then the riff comes in on the second beat of the next bar. So it's, um, you'll count one, two, three, four, and then you're in, okay? So it's a bit of a weird one, but that's the way it's structured. You omit that on the repeat, but we'll come to that in a sec. So we would have one, two, three, four, one. So we've got a mixture there of palm muting and non palm muting. So the first bar goes rest, and then eighth notes. Like that, okay? So again, slowly. Three, four, one. straightforward stuff right you do that four times then we've got this pre-chorus part which goes something like this two three four you got that going on okay um you could just stay there i did a slide at the end because that's what i think one of the guitars at least plays we could just stay on the second fret there and then go into the chorus from there. There's some cool little natural harmonics that just ring out. I think it's just in front of the third fret the first time. So you play three, four. And you could do three notes there. That's what I've tabbed, but you know, up to you. So again. So 
The second time round, I think it's over the fourth fret. <laughs> Then again over the fourth fret. And then a slide. You could just leave it open though. Which, incidentally, it does later on. Now for the chorus, I'd play quite a full chord for this. So we have this. So to speed, two, three, four. That's the first time round. I'll stop there because it subtly changes for the next three repeats. So down, 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 up, down. Change. Okay, and then we'll go to the sixth fret here. Fourth fret to second. And I think he takes all his fingers off before he goes to the C. You could go back to the second fret though. Up to you. For the next three repeats though, the first beat of the first bar of the phrase, uh, it changes slightly because you do a... Do a little whack before, right? So it's rather than going on the first beat, you're now playing on the one hand for the first uh, chord, okay? So one, two, three, four. So transitioning from the first to the second riff would be like this. Again, I wouldn't really worry even too much about the strumming. Just make sure you hit the uh, the chord changes in the right place and you're good. Next up, we've got this middle eight riff, which goes like this. That's one guitar part. The other guitar part still plays this part. But then it moves down to the fourth fret. So slowly that first guitar part is going to be... ...to speed. Like that. Second guitar part then is... And note, when I change here, I'm using first finger, right? third there and then I go down here and I use my either my second or my third finger because uh, if you're going to go to this part easier if you're already here like that but for this part um, I would use my third finger to go to the fifth fret so uh, for the second guitar part I mean then you can just slide it down and then you're in a nice position to go between the last two. Again one more time to speed. And that is that bit. You do this three times. Fourth time it varies slightly. You tag that onto the end so the last time slowly would be And then you're into this part, which is like the intro, basically. But you're going to play it four times round, so... But the last time you play it, it does hang over on that... Those open, open notes, right? So it'd be... 
So the last time into that would be. In fact, it goes that last time. So there's uh, three times round of it. So three, four. Just like that, okay. And then back into the chorus, I think it is, isn't it? So we have. You know that, and then starting the next three courses with that. Uh, back into this. That three times around this time, and we're right into the outro now, so the fourth time would be. And then you have. And then you end, okay? So slowly that'll be. So hopefully straightforward enough for you. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.